procrastinator here thanks to TSS Red Baron and uh, the salesman Jimmy sales consultant Jimmy he's been kind enough to let me ride this beautiful 2015 ZX-10R oh and it's beautiful do you know what? who said that the ZX-10R being a race focused bike was not comfy to sit on like honestly I, I feel that I mean it's a little bit more forward than this, uh, the CBR 1000 RR same year 2015 but it's so light wow what is this about this is just oh this is just brilliant this feels like I'm floating in the air this is just so responsive so look guys um, so to give you a little bit of a sort of overview and where we're at as you know ZX um, the so just give you a little bit of a update bike fell through that's the Honda CBR 1000 RR I'm looking at to take this time to you know reflect and try and spend the time investing in the time to ride bikes and understand what I really want whoops I'm in the lot, wrong lane here so let's just change over yep um, try and work out what I what bike I really want so I'm looking to reflect on the situation really listen to my own advice and try and work out what bike that I really really want um, and do you know what honestly and this, this do you know what this is a perfect example of the dangers when you look at bikes on the internet and you set yourself these kind of um, I guess these perceptions about what bikes one that you want whether that be a race bike or a, you know a custom bike or a, you know like a unfair naked bike and then you start to kind of go down a route and select the bikes based on your kind of preference before you've even ridden anything and it's a dangerous thing so we're we're gonna do the right thing you know we shorted down a load of bikes we shot so we shortlisted down a load of bikes and actually this is really really cool because the ZX-10R I, I hadn't originally put this on my shortlist so I phoned uh, Jimmy and said like Jimmy you know I changed my bike again don't know if you know um, I really get regret getting black couple of other bits and pieces in there what have you got mate you know what I like and he was like mate I've got I've got something I've got a ZX-10R 2015 and I was like oh that sounds cool I've you know that's funny why haven't I thought about the ZX-10R because it was on my list of bikes when I, I went and bought the CBR uh, Repsol before the CBR 1000 RR black one that I've got at the moment so you know that I, I that's quite strange right so anyway here we are we are here we are on the ZX 10R 2015 model three power modes ABS traction control and anti wheelie control it has all the fun technology controls in place so that you can enjoy the power and be safe at the same time and what more could you get a beautiful bike with beautiful scenery I'm gonna pull up somewhere and we're gonna do a quick walk around so you can visualize just what a fantastic looking bike this is so number one what we're looking here to do is let's let's look at the bike let's see what it has let's visualize how it looks let's do a walk around and then let's take it on the road and experiment with what it can do can I go through here I think I can go through here can I go through here I can't go through here oh I can't go through here do you know what this bike is just so easy to use oh yeah 
that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go and find a place to pull up. Actually, that's not going here. Let's go further up, eh? We're gonna pull in here, eh? Here we go, here's a nice spot, here's a nice spot. Here we go, here we go. Boom! Oh, look at this, here we go. We're just about to come up the off ramp and hopefully we can um, experience the power. I'm just going to say by the way, this bike is actually, actually really fine in traffic and low speeds. It's just actually surprisingly comfortable. To Blech surprisingly comfortable I mean do you know what I it's funny like I've come off my Honda and I don't really other than I feel this bike this bike definitely feels lighter it responds lighter in fact I'm gonna check my tire pressures eh but this bike it feels it feels so light I can't believe this is a thousand cc bike that is just so lovely Nimble. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Oh, feel that! Oh, it's just so smooth! It's just so smooth! Wow! Like this thing is just... I can't describe it! It is so light, nimble and easy to use. It's almost hard and so difficult to imagine why this is such a race focused bike. It just feels unbelievably nice to ride. I mean I just feel so comfortable. But I just, I'll be honest, right? I truthfully did not expect this to feel like this. I really didn't. You know, I look honestly, I'm probably not going to be able to talk about the true power and capabilities of this bike. I mean, if those are the things you're looking for from this video, I'm not going to be able to um, I'm not going to be able to put that out there for you. Thanks, mate. Because truthfully, we're, not, we're just not going to get a chance to do that on this in this traffic. But what I'll probably do, I might come off this next junction and go the opposite direction, which makes a lot more sense, right? You know, sometimes when you make a decision about doing things and you get that wrong... Ah, oh, so smooth! Wow, I am... Um, I'll be honest, I am in love. This is so different from the Tuano. The Tuano just wants to tear your arms off, but in a good way. Oh, this just wants to, this just wants to just fly. You know, it's absolutely amazing. Wow, if you, if you guys are out there and you're worried about, you know, like being over the tank and being just really uncomfortable, Oh. <laughs> oh wow, I'm going to come off here because I'm going to turn around. Oh, it's just so lovely, you know, like this is just absolutely wonderful. Listen to that exhaust. Oh, it's just, do you know what guys, on this bike you feel like you're in a jet, a jet fighter. Kawasaki have truly got something magnificent here. Wow, I tell you what. Do you see, this is a dangerous thing, right? Like you go out and you ride a bike and like every bike has a different experience. Can I go up here? I think I can, eh? 
Every bike has a different experience. Oh, I can't. Bugger. Every bike has a different experience and in its own way makes you want to go, right, I want to buy that bike. That bike is awesome. But the good thing about sticking a process, right, and going through and looking at all the details on the bikes, you know, taking them out for a ride, a new short list that you've got, oh, on the short list that you've got, you won't make mistakes, you'll get the best bike. You will get the best bike. And so far, I will say, I, I do prefer, I prefer this to the Tuano. I definitely prefer this to the Tuano. There's absolutely no vibration. It, that's a good point. That is a very good point. There is absolutely, categorically, no vibration at all. <laughs> Oh, listen to that exhaust. Oh, I could do this all day. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, let's not be too stupid. Oh, here we go. Yeah, mate. Oh, let's go. Here we go. We can't go too fast because damn lights are red. Oh, -ho! guys, this bike is just made for pure fun. Oh, here we go, the favourite spot. At the lights, they're on red. Oh, the adrenaline goes. Oh, yeah, listen to that. Listen to that. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. It's a bike after my own heart. Fogging up in here. Here we go, come on. Let me let her loose. Come on, let me let her loose. Listen to that exhaust. Oh, just awesome. Oh, it's the moment. Where's the moment? Where's that green light? Come on, let me have that green light. Guys, honestly, you know, I'll always say how it is. And wow, like I am absolutely and utterly lost for words. I did not see that come in. You know that it, it's like the delivery is just absolutely s smooth. I can't fault it at all. Yeah, mate, you go picking your nose there, buddy. It's just, it really is absolutely great. Well, I think I'm going to get back from this ride and I'm going to have to do some serious thinking. Isn't it always the same? When you find something you like, the only pressure does, the pressure doesn't come from the sales guy. The pressure doesn't come from the family or your friends. The pressure is completely self-derived. Why? Because your feelings in the moment, the experience that you get on a bike, just motivates you into wanting to buy that bike. Oh, do you know what? What a great guy Jimmy is. Absolutely fantastic for letting me have a go on this bike. Oh yeah, it's just so brilliant. I do apologize, I can't show you the dash. Um, when I get my GoPro, I am, I've decided, I am getting a GoPro. I might even get two GoPros. What we're going to do, let's just talk about that very briefly. We will have a VR camera. I think that the best places where it's parked right now, 
that's probably the best place and it's easy for me to mount between bikes and I'll have a GoPro possibly on the front and one on the helmet oh I don't I just want to I want to race past that guy yeah just whoa, blow him out but we're not going to do that because we're sensible here And as much as I love race bikes and having that power, ah, oh, what a beautiful switch down. Ooh, this is a tight bend. Slow down here. Jeepers, creepers, did not see that one coming. I have no idea where I just turned into. Shiver me timbers, where the friggin' heck am I now? All right, we need to go up here, is it? Well, that's a interesting, it's actually got quite a good turning circle on it, to be fair. It's quite nice. Ah, look at this hill, what's going on here? It's a strange old road, like, I, wow, how do I get where I'm going now? I think I go up here, eh? How to get lost on a test ride. Here we go, what's these guys doing here? So yeah, look, um, work in progress on all the other bits and pieces, and, um, you know, I'm constantly looking to improve uh, the videos, the vlogging experience and end of the day guys, you know, I think it's really really important to share the experience of motorcycles for people looking to get into it for the first time for lo people looking to change their bike, upgrade their bike um, and those people that are looking to return back to motorcycling you know just make sure she doesn't pull out of me there you know like it's a community, it really is a community. It takes away all the stigma associated with everything else. You know, just the, the, in, the, just the stupid things in the world. And you get and you meet guys that have their bikes and they want to talk about their bikes and the things they've done to them. And they care, right? You know, they're good people. You know, they're just, it's such a great community always looking out for each other you know it's just it's brilliant you know well guys I think I'm gonna just sign off just there um, I think my thoughts are I mean look, look I, I could ride this bike in traffic no problem like it's just so smooth look 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 I can oh I mean look at this look at that look at that look at that look at that, look at that. Wow! Complete control! Complete control! Right there! This is... This has to be... This has to be in the top... One of the top bikes on the market at the moment. It has to be. If you like my videos guys... Please like, share, comment and subscribe. For now, MC Procrastinator out.